Hello, lovely people. So before you ask, no, I'm not crying. Uh, my allergies are acting up. Um, nose, eyes, pretty much it. I feel fine, but they just start acting up today. Seen her neither here nor there. But I just wanted to make this video because I get this question a lot, a whole lot about do I regret my decision of becoming a nurse, especially because of everything that's going on right now? Do I love my job? Um, is being a nurse worth it? So on and so forth. I get this a lot, especially from people who are either wanting to go to nursing school or who are just starting out in nursing school. And I mean, that's a yes and no answer. Um, and that is because all the stuff that you see about the hospitals being overwhelmed, being swamped, being all of that, that's true. Short staffed, all that, that's true about nurses needing therapy and then leaving the field that's true all of these things are true um especially because of what's going on right now um some days you are going to question why did you become a nurse because you're going to have that extremely non-compliant patient that no matter what you do and no matter how hard you fight for that patient they would not listen they would not do what they need to do in order to save their life you're also going to question why you got in the field because you're going to have jerk patients and jerk families and jerk co-workers and jerk management and they are going to try to use you and abuse you and just be all around jerks and you're going to want to say screw this job and just leave <laughs> you're going to have those days you're also going to have days where you question why did you become a nurse and why did you choose to put yourself through this because you're going to have a wonderful patient with a wonderful family and you're going to lose that patient and it's not because of anything that you've done a lot of times it's nothing you could have did differently that could have saved that patient but you're going to become attached um I don't know how you cannot um, with some of my patients I work in a clinic setting I see my patients often I become attached to them um, some of them I know their children I have become attached to these people and when I lose them it hurts when I lose them I do not want to go into that clinic ever again like I have days when I just don't want to go back and sometimes i just wonder what could i have done what could i have said a little bit different that could have put a little bit of extra joy and light into that person's life while they were here and the truth is like maybe i did everything i could have did maybe i didn't i don't you know i don't know but you're like you're going to have that that feeling um right now what you're seeing about because i'm pretty sure around nurses week you saw all of the memes about the the pizza parties and things like that as a thank you from these billion dollar corporations that's true pizza parties kids meals paper clips to hold it together we've seen it all <laughs> that's literally what they give us um there's also at least in texas there are new guidelines to keep or to t attempt to keep nurses from getting more money. Like there's all kinds of stuff. Um, we are overworked. We are underpaid right now for some of the crap that we're going through. And yeah, yeah. So there is no, there is no straight answer to it. There is no right or wrong answer to it. Am I, am I glad for what I'm doing? Yes, um, it is job security. Uh, <laughs> They need us right now. They need us right now, sis. But some days, I I really just want to turn in my two weeks and go back to a desk job. I do have those days. Um, but other days, I genuinely enjoy what I do. I genuinely enjoy making a difference in these people's lives and seeing the smiles and everything that I can bring to them. Um... The only people who would not be affected by any of this that I'm talking about are heartless people. Um, and if you are heartless and you just got into the field for the money, please leave. Uh, we don't need you because when a patient comes to a hospital and sometimes a clinic, they're scared. 
it's not often that you get those that are just coming there because they're pill seekers and things like that like yeah you're gonna have those too don't get me wrong you're gonna have those but typically these people are scared they are hurt and scared they are sick and scared they're about to have a major life change and scared they're about to have surgery and scared whatever it is they're scared it's not often that you see a patient that's about to have something happen whether it be have a baby a surgery anything and they come in and they're just calm cool and, and relaxed even if they come in that way they don't stay that way that's that's not an everyday thing because they know anything can go wrong anything can happen um, when a patient comes in with an accident when they come in sick or whatever they're scared their families are scared and they need someone there to be that little bit of light in that moment you know so we don't need y'all that just got came for the money like don't get me wrong nurses make a lot more than a lot of feels um but at the same time are we still underpaid for what we do yeah i mean that can be argued that a lot of professions are underpaid for what they do so we're not even going to get into that topic so yeah um i'm going to stop here because i know i would keep rambling about this because i have a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions about nursing right now that when i was in nursing school i did not think this was going to happen <laughs> i didn't think this was going to happen like at all but for those of you that are in nursing school and that are thinking about becoming a nurse, you have to be strong. You have to have thick skin because you're going to come across some horrible people, some racist people, some stupid people. You're you're going to come across all of it. I came across some of it while I was in nursing school and I still come across it, um, especially as a African-American woman. You really come across it. Um, I can't speak on other people, but I know. Ooh, ooh. With us, Lord Jesus, some of the stuff we hear is like, y'all wouldn't believe. We can start a whole whole thread on that. But anyway, so stick with it. Um, just know sometimes when those professors are being hard on you in school, when they're being a little unorganized, it's going to prepare you for what you're going to get into. It's going to prepare you because at first I was irritated with my professors being unorganized. The medical field is unorganized, darling. Get used to it, get used to it. So that's it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you're a nurse, comment down below. If you're in nursing school, comment down below. Like talk, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some of your experiences, um, some of your fears when you graduate nursing school. Like, come on, let's, let's mess and mean a little bit let's start a whole little support group <laughs> if you will so yeah so thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye